In this video, I'm going to explain how tutor profiles work within Tutor Cruncher. So, yeah, just as a little like, side note before the video starts, every company has a different company setup. I mean, they can change the layout, CSS, like a lot of like different kind of settings. But this vid video will give you like a general like overview of how um, the yeah, tutor profile works. So let's start with the dashboard. Um, I'm in Diane Lafayette's profile at the moment. Um, so yeah, on the dashboard they can enter all of their information. Um, yeah, in my video about the job applications with Teacher Cruncher, um, this is what I refer to when I talk about entering all of their information. So yeah, here they can upload their resume, um, documents, the institutions that they've attended, uh, their qualifications, teaching skills, all of their address information, um, yeah, just all that kind of stuff. And they can also view the jobs that they're currently in. So that's their dashboard. They can also set their availability. And this is just so that admins can see when they like can, can plan them in and just to like let your admin admins know when they're available. So yeah, you can just set your availability here. It should be very straightforward. Um, so yeah, and that's basically the dashboard. So let's go to payment orders. And payment orders are might be familiar with this already. And otherwise, watch a video about payment orders. But payment orders are basically pay slips within Tutor Cruncher. So yeah, on this screen, Tutor can view all of their pay slips and if they're paid out yet or not. The amount, the status. They can also view the PDF that's been sent out to them. Just the PDF. In this case, this payment order. And that is payment order, so like GS1 payment order at the moment, which hasn't been paid yet. And then their calendar. So within their calendar, a tutor can see all of their planned lessons, or even like add a new lesson with a particular student within a job. And they can also add this calendar to their like Google Calendar or their Apple Calendar. Um, with this code right here. We explain how this works in our user guide. So yeah, and that's the calendar. And then let's go to the Available Jobs tab. So the Available Jobs tab is for jobs that are available for application. So yeah, let's take um, James Smith Biology. You can just click it, view some details. I have and haven't entered many details here. But yeah, I've received a job application for this, uh, and now I can like apply for the job. So let's say I think I'm the right tutor for this, like the rate, I can teach biology. Enter a little description of why I think that I'm the right person for this job. I think that I'm, I'm a great tutor. Doesn't really matter what you enter here, of course. It's just this the tutor was trying to convince you whether they're the right tutor for the job. So then click save, and then that's like them submitting the job application, and then they can view the current applications in current applications. And these are the jobs that I've applied for: um, the economics, and then the job we've just applied for, and it's pending till. I have been accepted for the job, of course, and then when you've been accepted, and obviously, again, it really depends on how your tutoring company is running the business, but yeah, when they've been accepted for the job, they can view like all of their active jobs in my jobs, and these are the finished jobs, and these are the open jobs. So these are the three jobs and the rates. Um, so let's go to this job with John McDonald. And that's Matt. Um, so yeah, we've only done one lesson with him right now. But let's say we want to add another lesson. They can do that here as well. So let's plan a second lesson. Let's plan it for next Sunday at 10.30 or 10.36. Doesn't really matter. It's going to be the second lesson. And it's going to be at John's house. Let's catch up the lesson. And at this point is scheduled. So when we now go to the job, we can go to the planned lesson. So then when the time of the lesson comes, obviously this time it's going to be a face-to-face -face lesson because we're at John's house. But you can also 
make it an online lesson and if it's an online lesson they can click the online whiteboard here and then they're automatically redirected to BitPaper that's our, the online whiteboard software that we integrate with and here they can have the video call like screen share all that kind of stuff and then the student has the same link on their account and they can reach each other via this link so they can also add expenses let's say they've when I on my way to John I took a bus and the bus cost me five um, five dollars so I can either do it in expenses or here so I can add an expense expense category this is just for an admin they can like set this and like so that they will pre-fill the whole expense let's say he hasn't done it in this case and just click expense it's gonna be a travel charge and a date occurred no, five dollars the client will be charged um so it was John and it's in the job in the for the job John McDonald maths and it's related to the first lesson now we have only had the first lesson so it's obviously the second lesson but I've just showed you where you can do it click submit and now in the end of the month like John will be charged a little extra for that travel charge and the last tab documents this is where a tutor can like upload all kinds of documents and again this should be very straightforward and this is basically how a tutor profile works um yeah there might be a little extra to it and it really depends on how you're running your business of course um but this is like a nice general overview of what you can do with a tutor profile within tutor cruncher